goods sent on approval basis what do you mean by goods sent on approval basis you know many times you would have seen that you go to purchase a pair of jeans you select a couple of jeans two or three jeans now if the seller is somebody uh, you know who with whom you've been dealing since long or he's your relative or he's your friend what he tells you is you take these three jeans you know show it to your mom your dad or your family members and whichever you like the most you keep them if you like all three you keep them if you like two you return one if you like one you return the other two and if you don't like anything you return all the three jeans so he gives you this leeway he gives you this you know additional comfort by saying you take these jeans and you return whichever jeans you do not like you keep the jeans that you like now in this case he has given you three jeans do you become the owner of those three jeans the answer should be no because you have taken the goods on approval basis now approval means you need to approve you need to give your consent and until and unless you have given your approval how can it be said that the goods have been sold because we know that in a contract of sale or in any contract approval of both the parties is required both the parties need to agree on the same thing in the same sense here you haven't given your approval you haven't given your consent so how can we say that there is a contract there is no contract the contract will be formed when you approve when you say okay i take this pair of jeans or okay i take these two jeans or i approve all the three jeans only then it can be said that there is a contract so until and unless you have given the approval there will be no contract okay so whenever you sell goods on approval basis only when the approval is given we can say that there is a contract now what happens to the goods the goods have been given by the seller to the buyer so who owns those goods those goods are owned by the seller since there has been no contract of sale buyer does not become the owner there is no transfer of ownership so the seller remains the owner of those goods okay so when does the property passes to the buyer the property passes to the buyer when he gives consent when he agrees to taking the goods uh, let's say you agree to buy one pair of jeans one pair of jeans so the property in that pair of jeans will belong to you now you will become the owner of that pair of jeans and the remaining two pair of jeans you will have to return next when the time gets elapsed let's say the seller had given you a time you know a week's time one week time so you had to reply back in one week now that week's time has elapsed what can we conclude from this that you have approved or you do not want those goods he had given you one week's time to let him know which goods you are taking which goods you are not taking so now that time has elapsed one week has elapsed that is over so now it will be considered that 
the goods belong to you you are the owner of those goods because there was a time which was specified in our example one week so that time has elapsed that time is over so let's say there was no time specified so when can we say that sale has happened or no sale has happened after the elapse of reasonable time so if the time is specified when that time passes when that time elapses and when the time was not specified no such thing no such deadline was given no such period was given after reasonable time and this reasonable time may vary from case to case basis in case of diamonds the reasonable time may be short in case of cloth the reasonable time may be a bit longer in case of oranges it may be very less because it's a perishable commodity so reasonable time may vary from case to case basis but the important thing is to remember if no time is specified and the goods are given on approval basis it will be considered that the buyer has accepted the goods and the ownership will then belong to the buyer after the elapse of a reasonable time and finally when he does some act showing acceptance let's say you wear you start using that jeans you wear that jeans and go to that shop so it will be understood that you have started using the jeans that means you have you know accepted the jeans you have given your consent it is an implied consent you are doing it by your act you are doing it by your behavior you are doing it by your you know conduct how you are conducting yourself so the shopkeeper may imply that you have accepted the jeans so your approval is come so then the ownership will be transferred to you and you will be required to make the payment or let's say you have sold these jeans in turn to your friend again it may be implied that you have accepted those jeans because until and unless you accept the jeans how can you sell them you have sold the though i mean that pair of jeans that means you have accepted it and once you have accepted it you will have to make the payment that means there was a contract of sale now there is no more sale on approval basis but there is a concrete sale contract or let's say you have taken a loan and given that jeans as security obviously we do not give jeans for security but you know, for our convenience sake let's take this example you have taken some loan and given that jeans as security now again by your conduct you are showing that you have accepted approved and given your consent for the jeans so now you will be required to make payment for the jeans it will be considered that the contract has happened so like you sell it you pledge it you consign it you give the jeans to your agent for selling it for the you know so again it may be implied that you have accepted the jeans so when the goods are sent on approval basis when does the property pass to the buyer when he expressly gives his consent this is the express method and this is the implied method this is also the implied method you imply after passing of him if he actually gives his consent if he comes and tells you know to the seller that you know he has accepted the goods he is expressing it so it is express but you know he does not come to the seller and the specified time has passed it will be implied that he has accepted if no time was specified after reasonable time it will be implied that he has accepted or if he does some act some behavior some conduct which shows us that he has accepted like selling the goods consigning the goods pledging the goods you know such acts tell us that he has accepted the goods